Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included, the uh, Dude Fix My Base series. I've been uh, trying to work on my surfer voice to do the dude thing, but I'm I, I'm terrible at it. So I got a new base here from Sneaky. He sent it to me, his save file, and his main concern was how do I get cool water? He had trouble cooling water. This base is actually pretty good. It's pretty, pretty well set up. I'll kind of go through... Uh, some points that I think could use some fixing and then I'll try to address the cooling water thing but one thing I want to mention first before I get into it is that when you first start this game they fail to mention some really critical details which really can help out and I would say one of them is that the water sieve the thing under refinement which uh, turns your polluted water into fresh water it comes out at a fixed temperature. The clean water that comes out of it comes out at a fixed temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. So you can send in 99 degree polluted water and all that heat gets destroyed and turns into 40 degree pure water, clean water. It doesn't kill the germs though. But the same thing with the carbon skimmer. You send in 90 degree uh, fresh water and you'll get out 40 degree polluted water. So these are two excellent ways to destroy heat there's other ways to destroy heat. You can uh, heat up something like oil and then turn it into petroleum. You can heat up petroleum and then burn it off. So there's lots of ways to destroy heat. And his main concern was cooling water. And most of the time you don't need to cool water. You can send hot water intellectualizers to make oxygen. You can send hot water into bathrooms. Uh, as long as you use insulated pipes, you, you should be okay. The only time you would really want cool water is if you're growing bristle blossoms or sleet wheat. And I don't recommend growing sleet wheat unless you're kind of really far into the game. So I'll just kind of start with some... Uh, let's look, check out the uh, room overlays here first. So we got our great hall. That's good. We've got um, some greenhouses. we got some barracks. Now the bathrooms are still using outhouses and these uh, wash basins which works, but these create more germs, which isn't such a big deal because they can wash their hands. But the nice thing about laboratories is that they're quicker. Uh, dupes don't waste their time uh, changing out the, you know, work, working on these, changing out the dirty stuff and adding new dirt. And laboratories have a special property, as you may or may not know, which um, they take five kilograms of water in and they get out 11.7 kilograms of polluted water which you can turn into, you can put into a sieve and turn into pure water. So they're a way to actually generate fresh water. Now the, uh, that, that fresh water that comes out is full of germs, but you can still use it for sinks and showers and the dupes don't mind, they don't get germy. You don't want to use it for food that uses water, so. Uh, he's got a pretty cool oxygen set up here that's kind of self-cooling. So he has a good ratio here, one electrolyzer to two pumps, and it's going through some radiant pipe here, wolframite, which is a good radiating radiator pipe. So that oxygen's got coming out at around 40. It comes out of the electrolyzer at 70, but because of the wheeze ward in here, it's coming down to 40, and then by the time it gets out here, it's at one degree, actually, from these three wheeze wards. So that's a really nice, cool oxygen setup. That's working well. Um, there's another one down here. The ratio's a little bit off here. We only got one electrolyzer to one pump. So if you actually look at the electrolyzer, you can see it outputs 888 grams of oxygen and around 100 grams of hydrogen. And one pump is capable of, um, I think it says here somewhere, 500 grams per second. So even if this thing was running nonstop, you would need two pumps to successfully get all the all the air out. So it's good to use a ratio of two to one. Two pumps to one electrolyzer. And your electrolyzer still won't be running all the time, but it'll be close to, it'll be more efficient than just having one. I noticed this power setup is kind of in the middle of the base, which is problematic. Um, because all these things generate heat. Transformer generates four kilo, or sorry, a thousand ETU. I think this is like a dupe thermal unit they made up. The batteries generate heat, uh, the coal gener gen generates heat, and it's all in insulated tile here. So this area over time might start to cook. 
I generally try to keep all machines that generate heat outside of my base. Uh, that keeps the base really cool. Um, what else here? Let's take a look at the schedule. I noticed some issues with the schedule. So we got bath time in the middle of the day. The problem with this is that, let's say they're doing some stuff outside of the base. They'll run out of the base, go do some stuff, have to come back for a bathroom break, and then run back out to do some work, and then come back for uh, relaxation time, and then they go to bed. So what I would do here is actually do bath time here. Uh, and sorry, and work here. And they probably don't need three bath time units. You can probably get away with two. And during downtime, they can go to the bathroom. If they haven't made it to the bathroom in these two blocks, they can go during these three. So I would probably keep this. I might add a second schedule to load balance between these two. And that would uh, keep the bathrooms um, from overlapping in terms of use. The number of dupes I think is pretty good, so I would just I, I'm just gonna turn this off. Uh, it, oops, it kind of an, it kind of bugs me when it's on, so that's why I'm turning it off. There's no other reason. <laughs> it's just a distraction. Okay, so oxygen looks really good. Temperature in the base looks really good, except for this area which may heat up over time. This is a lot of smart batteries. I'm not quite sure why it has so many. Uh, maybe just as a buffer. We've got the two power generation things here. I might actually take a couple of these out. Uh, let's do that. It's a little bit overkill. Because they all generate heat. I might actually put a Weezwort here to keep this cool. He's got some Weezworts to spare, so... We've got some buffering here for hydrogen. So it buffers in these two tanks, and then it goes into a hydrogen generator down here. And it's got good automation set up. The batteries, uh, oh actually they're all hooked up in here, interesting. They're all set up to, third, to turn off at 30%, so that's good. I might actually get rid of another one here. And I would probably move all this power generation outside of the base. Let's check our wires. We've got potential to consume 1.27, so this wire could overload. This one's under a kilowatt, which is good. This one's under two kilowatts, which is good. How about this one? This one's a little bit over. So if this refinery kicks on along with some of this other stuff, it might overload, but it, I don't think he was running all these things at once, so. Uh, what else is there? Do we have enough mess hall for everyone? Yeah, dupes, eight. We got enough beds, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That looks good. Now he has all his meal wood turned off. I'm gonna speed things up here. Just so you can see that if you click on one of these meal wood, you can see the dirt actually going down. So even though this plant is fully grown, it's consuming dirt. So the dupes will come along and they'll continue to put dirt in here and it'll just waste all this dirt away. So I'm gonna actually turn these back on so they actually start harvesting them. He might have done this because he had so much food and his fridges were getting full. Which is another point. He's got his fridges up here and they're being powered. And the food is slowly rotting away in the fridge. So this is a, a bit of a waste of power. You can actually have fridges powered down. And this is actually a really nice place to put them. He's got a nice little CO2 cavern here. So what I would actually do is put, um, put a couple of fridges in in here maybe. Maybe three fridges and also a storage container for sleet wheat seeds. Uh, you can fit 20 times the amount of sleet wheat seeds in a storage container versus a fridge so. This water seems to be one of the main primary sources of water uh, for his electrolyzers and CO2 cleaning. So this is going to run out at some point and I think that's why you had the concern about fresh water. This is probably going to get become underwater here at some point as well, maybe. I think there's ice in here, yet. Yeah. We've got hatches running around the base. Uh, I would probably make a hatch ranching room. Uh, there doesn't seem to be really like a good spot for it at the moment. So I'd probably just stick them in this little room here, maybe. 
They need more space, but... I would probably stick them in here. And... Maybe extend this room out. We could actually poke a hole in here and... Maybe extend this so it's two ranch rooms, so... That just keeps them from eating all this stuff... In the base. Slow things... Oh, well, I'll keep things going full speed. Now, he might be able to make some snazzy suits. Let's see. Yeah, snazzy suits are good. I don't think any of the dupes are actually wearing snazzy suits, so I might actually do a bit of that as long as the power is not going to overload. It might. Uh, does he have any recipes going in here? Nope, that's off. Uh, the refinery. This is not the great place for the refinery because it's going to get really hot. And I noticed the output pipe here from the refinery. Actually, it doesn't have an output yet. Never mind. That's just bypassing and doing some CO2 cleaning, I guess. CO2 scrubbers are a good way to get... Uh, CO2 skimmers are a good way to get rid of carbon dioxide, but you can also send the carbon dioxide down to the bottom to the slicksters in the oil biome. Like here they are right here. And they'll eat your CO2 for free. Oh, I see we got we got a power outage here. Let's just see what's going on here. Lack of power. Probably because I took all the batteries out. <laughs> but the batteries aren't the issue. The there's not enough power generation here. Because when there's no hydrogen, we've only got one coal generator powering the whole base pretty much. So I would probably put in another coal generator. I don't see how much coal we have. Consumable ore, 15 tons of coal. And once we, once we get a hatch farm going, that'll generate some coal for us. So power. Make that out of gold. We'll stick that. Uh, I have to move some stuff around, I guess. That should fit there, is it? The... Not sure what's in the way there. It might be the statue. Take that statue out. Might also be the... I think it's the shift plate or the statue. There's something going on there. In terms of spacing. What else do we have up here? We've got a big giant ice biome. I would probably start to get in here and set all this food to be harvestable. Because this is free, delicious food that he could be using. Uh, none of it's set to harvest, so I would probably set all this to harvest. And then open up little pathways to get to this food. Sleep weed everywhere. Look at all this food. Use the food that you have. I've got some dirty air here. I would probably clean that up. Just because it'll rot any food that's on that's come off the vine, so to speak. We got some nullifiers, which is good. Uh, we could use that to cool... I usually set my oxygen generation up by the nullifiers. Because these things need hydrogen, and if you set up your oxygen generation by your, by the nullifier, you can pipe the hydrogen into this thing and use it to cool the oxygen that supplies your base. So that works out pretty well, usually for me. Uh, let's see. Got some chlorine in the air here. Might split the schedule off. But we don't really have a bathroom issue, so... Let's see if that power issue is fixed. Oh, we gotta put the coal in. Stick that. Oh, we still can't. Maybe it's the heavy watt wire? Maybe it's the painting? I don't really know what's going on here. Unless it's these joint plates in the way. Should be able to build. I think it's the painting actually. Yeah, the power is not enough power to do all these things at once. It's probably because I started up these snazzy suits. I'm going to turn these off. <laughs> the stress is the stress was zero, so you don't really need those. Okay, that 
should fit there nicely. And we'll make sure that hooks up into the automation, which it does. Take these paintings out. I probably shouldn't be expanding the power here because this is all hot. Let's put some Weezwarts in here. He's got them, so we'll use them. So I would probably move all the oxygen generation outside of the base even though this is working quite smoothly. But let's just get the power situation under control. I'll take this Weezwort out. Oops. Put another coal generator in there. And then we should be good for power. Stick it right there. Weezwort can go here. zoom out here and take a look at what he's got going on here. So here's his water sources over here. Oh, this is one thing I wanted to comment on. So we've got a hydrogen vent here. It's outputting carbon dioxide at 500 degrees and there's no real use for this carbon dioxide yet. So what I would do is cap it off with um, insulated igneous rock. Yeah, because that's just going to cook his whole ice biome. Which we don't want. Because ice biomes are good, because they're free food. We'll carve this... Uh, carve this open. Snow's going to fall down, but... Get that free food. Set this all to be harvestable. And so he was cooling his geyser with the ice biome through this metal tile. Tungsten, really conductive. Thermal conductivity of 60. And then he's got, uh, he's pumping the hot water down this way into a kind of a cooling tank, which is being cooled by this ice biome. And this isn't really sustainable. So this is this is one of the issues he, he talked to me about. So like I said, you don't really need to cool water unless you're gonna use it for bristle blossoms. So I would, I would probably just use the hot water directly into the lavatories. So I would, maybe I'll start with, let's see which bathroom we want to convert first. Maybe this one. There's a bunch of bathrooms. We could probably get away with two lavatories for the whole base, but. So I'd probably do an insulated pipe from his hot water supply. Even from here, actually. Suffocating, what have I done? Oh, they're just, that's okay. Let's turn on this little deoxidizer he had here for, I think this is just for a little place for them to breathe. Oh, and he had this being, this. he's got this tunnel, insulated tunnel being built. I don't know what he actually wanted this for, but all this chlorine is just kind of making its way out. I would just go the other way He's already got a tunnel coming in this way, so I would just use that instead. So I would actually cap this off right here. I would just like build a build a wall and keep them out of here for now. There, they got a little source of oxygen, that'll be good. So let's seal that up. I'll just use regular tile, I don't think it needs to be insulated. We got some free food there. Let's build that. Let's get the hatch room done. Uh, so stations, uh, grooming station. Stick that in here. Critter drop off is under food. Stick that here, and then a couple feeders. I like to go with um, stone hatches. You get stone hatches by feeding regular hatches sedimentary rock. And then once they become stone hatches, they can eat igneous rock. We could make this a larger hatch room just by putting a couple doors right here. And then opening up a tile here so that it expands the size of the room. 
I notice no one's really doing anything. What are they off doing? That's so high priority, I wonder. Got a dupe out here. Running around. I'm not sure why he airlocked this. Because it's cold biome and cold biome. He was building out another exosuit dock here. Um, which isn't fully hooked up yet. And I actually wouldn't hook this up. The reason being is that he can get away with using this as the main exosuit area and then building a tunnel across here instead. Then he won't have to support to exosuit docks, so I would probably take that out. Let's do a quick mop here so the food can start growing again. We got bleach stone venting off into the air. That's not so great. I would probably do a... Put a container under underwater here for the bleach stone. It doesn't vent off very much, but... Maybe stick it in there. I think it's venting off. Actually, we could stick it down here. Then we won't, then we won't have to dig anything. Actually, we need a ladder for that. Let's just do a quick ladder here and then stick that bleach stone underwater so it doesn't give off all the chlorine. These aren't really priority nine at all, so leave that. Uh, let's check everything out. There's no research going on right now. I think he's done almost all the research. We'll hold off on that for now. Let's check jobs. I didn't look at jobs yet. Uh, looks good. And let's look at morale. Morale is generally higher than expectations, which is really good. That means they won't stress out, except for Stinky is a bit stressed out. Looking for the massage table, if he has any. Uh, I thought he had one, but maybe not. Uh, okay, let's set these up here. So food, we're going to do hatch. We're going to feed them sedimentary rock. Priority six. And here I'm going to do stone hatch. Because we'll eventually get stone hatches. And we'll feed them igneous rock. Because there's so much igneous rock on the map. You can feed them for thousands of cycles. And critter drop off, we'll do just hatches. I think we only have hatches right now. I'll do that at a higher priority. And then we're going to wrangle all these guys up because we don't want them just running around the base. And hopefully we have a rancher. I think we do. But we'll find out. No, we don't. Colony lacks a rancher. Okay. Who can we get to be a rancher? Uh... I don't even know if we have farmers yet. So once Joshua is done, I might get uh, might get someone on farming and then ranching. I think we do have a farmer because these stations aren't complaining about anything. And let's let's set these to be harvestable. We'll do priority eight or seven maybe on the food. Actually, I'll do it six. Because we got lots of food. It's not an emergency yet. And I was going to move those fridges down. So let's copy the settings here. We got... We'll just allow everything in here. We'll allow all except uh, sleep wheat grain priority. I like to do my fridges higher priority. So copy those settings. And then this one will be for uh, just sleep wheat. And what priority were these fridges? Seven. Let's make them, I don't know, two until they get emptied. It's nice to have the fridges by the eating area. It's pretty efficient. Oh, this water cooler we can disable. It'll save some water. 
And we're making frost buns. Let's see what... Uh, we got any pinch of pepper nut. Cooking ingredient, pinch of pepper nut. We do have quite a bit. So instead of making frost buns, I'm going to make pepper bread. Because it's even better for morale. I like to have a big food reserve, so that's actually a good thing that we have lots. Let's get this snazzy suit that I made onto someone. Oh, there was a few. Okay. He had a few made. These are asking for dirt, I think. Got a job mastered. So who was that? Joshua. Okay, Joshua, we're going to put you on farmhand, unless you've already been one. And then we're going to put you on rancher. Joshua. Perfect. Be able to wrangle up those hatches. I'm keeping an eye on these, on this area. It's staying cool, so that's good. I like to set the battery threshold to 100. And I set my coal generators pretty high priority because if power goes down, bad things happen. And then we'll make sure that automation's all tied in. That's good. So we're only burning coal when we need to. Might set this up. Uh, he probably had a reason for having it at 30, so I'll keep it at 30. Just keeping an eye on heat. Yeah, the space is pretty good. Pretty good. I wouldn't change a whole lot. Let's see if those hatches are being wrangled. Let's make them priority nine. Get those guys in the in the stable. If I can capture them. Actually, let's cancel that and redo it with uh, wrangle priority nine. So, like I said, the whole the whole question he had was about water cooling. So, let's deal with that. So we just have the system where it's cooling here and then it's bubbling down here, but I would just take the hot water. Let's see what temperature we got it out here. 110. There's no Weezworts or anything in here. I would start with that because he has some. Let's use them. They would probably work better in a hydrogen room. Oh, there's actually hydrogen in here right now, so that's good. Uh, we could also build some, do some of this cheeky stuff. We don't need to, but we can build temp ship plate out of ice. And that'll cool this right off. We got tons of ice. But like I said, there's no real reason to cool this too much. We want to get it from steam into liquid water, but once it's liquid water, we could bring it into the base. Now, what is this pipe for? This is, this looks like a pipe, this pipe he was going to use to bring water over. Oh, from here, I see, okay. I see. Temporarily, what I'm going to do is, um, let's see here. Instead of dumping it in this water tank, I might just send it right into the lavatories. Let me think about that. We've got non-insulated pipe for the electrolyzers, which is going to be a problem because eventually this water is going to be hot water. Uh, I don't want to mess up his stuff too much. But this isn't sustainable in the long term, and he, he recognized that. This this uh, this cooling system won't last forever. Eventually, this whole thing would just melt. Uh, we need some ladders here. This would all melt. This would get too hot. This water would never form, and it would be game over, pretty much. It might last quite a while, but we got polluted water in there. That's not good. Let's get that out of there. Oh, we can't. Okay. Hmm. He's got a pipe sensor here as well. Which 
I don't think is actually functioning because it's a pipe sensor. It's not like a... Yeah, it's not really a liquid. Uh, I think what he should be using here is a hydro sensor. But maybe he's just detecting fresh water. I'm not quite sure. He is detecting fresh water, but I don't think this thing will actually ever turn on. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> Let's set, set these to a low priority. Yeah, I'd probably just use this hot water directly. But let's just, let's use what he has. This polluted water is going to get into the mix though. And that's going to go to the base. What is he doing here? <laughs> oh, if the temperature, okay, here we go. If the temperature is below 20 in this room, pump the water. And this will never turn, this will probably never get to 20 degrees. Especially if we keep adding hot water. So yeah, I would probably just pump this water out and use it in lavatories. And I'd probably move all my oxygen production, which is going to be a big, a big project. But we can, can at least get the bathrooms upgraded. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I did have a plan, but I'm going to get rid of this metal refinery for now. It's not a really great place for it. All this hot stuff is going to heat up the base. So yeah, I'm going to do lavatories, and I'm going to use this pipe that's already here. So, let's, let's do that. Okay. It's decided. I'm doing it. So we get rid of this vent here. We're going to take out one of these. I think it's safe to take out both outhouses. There's uh, another bathroom set up here and here. So let's do lavatories instead. Under plumbing. Oh, there's a pipe in the way, of course. Let's do that there. Not quite sure where his compost is. Oh, it's over here. Okay, that's good. What is everyone doing? What is everyone doing? Oh. <laughs> Oh, they're making, uh... We're not going to make any ceramic right now. It's going to just bleed heat into the base. Someone come build this. Okay, here we go. So we got insulated pipe with igneous rock. We'll continue up this way since we already have the pipe. And we'll go in here. And then polluted water can come out here. And then we'll send it off somewhere. So we'll do a bridge. And we're going to actually start sending hot water in. And I'm going to send it directly. We're going to nick that pipe. Send it directly from this pump. And that'll slowly heat up this pipe because it's, it's insulated, but it's not a perfect insulator. But it'll be pretty good. So then we'll use liquid bridge from here to here. Actually, I don't need to technically nick that pipe because it'll take precedence with the bridge. It'll come over this way. It'll go to the lavatories. And then we have to deal with the polluted water somehow. I see he's sending polluted water in here and then it's not being used for anything. 
Ideally, this would go into a sieve and then kind of recycle the water into the whole washroom system. We could probably get away with two lavatories and two sinks and shut all these other bathrooms down. Oh, we got a little bit of polluted pee water here too. That's just not doing anything. Let's sweep this disgusting dirt. There's probably nowhere for it to go actually. <laughs> There's not enough composts. Okay, so let's take out one of these wash basins. And we'll send the polluted water to a sieve. We don't want the sieve in the base because it, it gets really hot, so we might put it off in this hallway. I think it might not fit though, because it's, I think it's, it might be four tall, I can't remember. Oh, it'll fit, okay, perfect. I might stick it just outside this door. Deodorizer is in the way, so we'll get rid of that. If we split our shift, if we add a new schedule and we kind of offset it from the other one, like this, we'll take everything and we'll move it to the right too. So, two bath, three downtime, three bedtime, and we'll assign half the dupes to schedule two. This way they're not using the bathrooms at the same time, so you can get away with fewer bathrooms. You could even do three, but for now I'll just do two. So we'll do a, do a water sieve here. And we'll send that dirty water up into here and then out will be it'll be germy water but it'll be clean germy water and that can actually loop around and go back into the system I might actually do um, a bit of a buffer here let's do a few water a few water liquid reservoirs I wish you could rotate these but you can't do a couple of those actually we don't even need these. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> we'll put one for fun. It'll enable us to get an infinite loop going for the bathroom. That's gonna need power, so let's see. We have some power on this line still. So we'll do conductive wire. We're really low on materials. We'll use copper. Insulated igneous rock will go out and in and around. And I'll feed that back into the loop that will be the bathroom loop. It'll come back around here and I'll tie in here and then we won't have to do any more, kind of any more with it. Now it's gonna do, it's gonna produce net, net clean water but with germs in it. So we'll have to do something with that. Not really sure what I would do with that right just yet. We could dump it in another tank somewhere. We don't want to dump it in this tank because this is, I think, being used for food. Let's just see, are they are they actually eating any food? Make sure all our water, water coolers are off. Water coolers are off, yep. And we're not making any food that requires water, I don't think. Nope. So it might be safe to do. As long as the water's not being consumed in the food, it's okay if it gets germy. Oh, they're using this lavatory already. Fantastic. It's going in there. That'll go in the buffer tank. Come back around. Let's just see what I'm going to do here. Uh, I know I want to deconstruct these. Actually, I'm going to use that. Let's actually get rid of this pipe here. We could upgrade it, but I'm going to get rid of it from here to here for now. Now that might back up from the CO2 scrubber, but that's okay. So 
We're gonna put a sink in. Medicine. Stick that right there. It's counterintuitive that you would use dirty water to wash your hands, but it actually works. If they ever do fix that, then you'll have to put it off into a storage tank somewhere. You could put it, you can actually put it in a water storage tank in chlorine and the germs will die. That's one way of dealing with it. But for now, the game allows it, so we won't complain. The other reason for doing this is that, one, the dupes don't have to empty the outhouses, two, it's faster, three, there's fewer germs, and four, there was a fourth reason, oh, you get a better bonus, a morale bonus from this kind of bathroom. So we're going to tie this back. Uh, I'm going to try to empty this pipe here if I can do it. I'm going to remove this bridge so that we can empty this pipe partially. Okay, so that's cut off. Now we can loop this back around like this. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We want it to go to the bathrooms, but we want the overflow to go somewhere else if it backs up. Actually, I have to empty this pipe here. I think we have a plumber, so we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, I think we do. There we go. Okay, now we can nick this pipe. Okay, we're, we're, part, we're part of the way there. Now we're gonna do a bridge right, right here. Let me think about this. Um, yeah, this will work. This, al this always confuses me, <laughs> even though I've built these uh, many times. So this will eventually back up and we'd want the extra water to go out somewhere. We could send it to our electrolyzers and that might be the thing to do actually. But we'd want to use insulated pipe here because this is going to be 40 degree water. But we could tie it in right, uh, let's see here. Don't have a bridge just yet. This, uh... Maybe I'll do... <laughs> It's so much harder working with someone else's stuff because you're so used to doing your own your thing things your own way. Before I get too carried away though, I'm gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna put another sink and another bathroom in. We'll set the sink to left only. Stick that there. We're running low on metal. I don't know where all this gold is. Probably just hasn't dug much of the map out. Oh, my bridge is kind of in the way there. Uh, <laughs> not a problem. We can branch here. There we go. Set that sink to left only. Now, this bathroom is probably good enough for... Because of the split schedules, this could probably service all the dupes, so we can probably get rid of these other bathrooms. Let's just make sure this is all set up and done. Oh, I think I've messed things up here. Massively. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, wow. I messed this up so badly. Um, This should be going in there. Not this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, yes, that's going to break the sinks. Okay, 
try that again. You guys are probably like, what is he doing? What did he smoke before he started this episode? Clean water coming around this way. That will be going in there. Let's empty this pipe. Empty that pipe. Good thing I didn't tear down the other bathrooms yet. Uh, remove this pipe. Yeah, not quite sure what I was thinking there. I wasn't thinking. Okay, this is going down here. There we go. This will be clean water with germs in it coming into the sinks and the bathrooms coming through here, getting filtered. Let's sit, let's set this filter to a high priority. And I might even want to put a compost beside it because they're going to have to compost the dirty dirt that's coming out of this. Refinement, compost. We got a sink here already, so it seems like a good place to put it. Later on, we could put an auto sweeper to get the dirt out of this into here. Hey, they're gonna be so much faster in the bathrooms now. Let's let's fix this broken sink. So you gain efficiencies from having this bathroom versus the old school one. So let's just see. That's all gonna back up. So we need to branch this water off and take it somewhere else. And that's going to happen actually pretty soon, <laughs> so let's decide where to put it. I think I was going to send it to the electrolyzers. And I cut... Uh, I'm going to cut this pipe off here that's supplying all this stuff. so that we can get water from a different source here. Okay, so uh, let me think here. That takes priority. So if that backs up, we want it to branch off here. Actually, we want it to branch off after. I usually screw this up. Uh, let's see if I'm gonna do it right here. <laughs> so we branch off here. Um, <laughs> I think it's like this. No, I always mess this up. Uh, I th think this works. No, that's going to steal all the water. Actually, that's okay. That's I think that's how it's supposed to work. So if it backs up, it'll go this way left instead and if it doesn't back up it'll clear through to the bathrooms let's just verify that <laughs> otherwise we run out of water and bad things happen yeah the priority is to go across the bridge if it can and if it can't it'll branch that's good yeah so we'll empty this pipe. We're getting rid of this pipe. And then this extra water can go into our electrolyzer setup. It's going to be warm water, so we want to upgrade that pipe to insulated. All along here, that should all be insulated. This should be insulated. We want to keep the heat inside the pump or the pipe until It's ready to be destroyed. And even the water coming out of this carbon skimmer is gonna be quite warm as well. It'll be 40 degrees, so this will get hot as well. I didn't think these little projects would take so long. Uh, sorry about that. I want to get to other stuff as well. But now we're using hot water for the bathrooms. Or we should be. Well, once we start pumping this over. We need to add a bridge. 
or this won't work very well. Priority nine. That comes up here. That's going nowhere. That should go to the electrolyzers, though. Hot water to the electrolyzers. Because you're just destroying the heat. The minute it goes into the electrolyzer, that, all that hot water gets destroyed. And no one is emptying this pipe, so... I don't know if Friday Rhymes can help anything there. I'm going to set these fridges down a bit. So we can actually get other stuff done. I should probably stop and pause and or and just watch them, see what they're all doing. I thought I had a rancher. Rancher should be able to get those hatches now. Maybe he needs to be fully trained. Let's see. What is it complaining about? Colony Lux Rancher. I guess they need the full training. Just starting the job is not enough. No one wants to empty this pipe. <laughs> um, we have a plumber. It's below this water, so I might just get rid of it. Yeah. There might be germs in here. I don't care, though. I think the plumber is busy. He's on, he's on vacation. So if we get germs in here, it doesn't really matter. Don't We don't care so much. I like how there's this battery in the wall here. <laughs> not connected to anything. Okay, there goes that pipe. Let's see if it was full of germs. No, luckily it was not. Okay. Hot water from the bottom. Is going up into the electrolyzer setup and I have to set that up so we'll do a bridge like so is that gonna work probably not um This will work. You'd think I'd know what I'm doing with the bridges and stuff by now, but it's still always a little bit confusing. This pipe can come, can be removed. Uh, the, the pipe that's under the bridge here. So here we go. Hot water should be coming up into the electrolyzers and the carbon skimmer. And now this polluted water is backing up, so we got to do something with the polluted water. And we can send it off to the sieve. Or we can dump it in a hole somewhere. <laughs> Probably better to put into the sieve. Which we could do with yet another bridge. Let's just think about this. Well, I don't even know if I would do this. I probably wouldn't have this carbon skimmer here. I probably wouldn't have all this coal generation here. Because oh, it actually is staying cool. The base is actually quite cool. We're going to have hydrogen backing up at some point because of all this coal. <laughs> Probably put too many coal generators in there. Let's disable one. Okay, so that's backing up. That's kind of bad. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
What should I do with this water? Um, I got the hot water coming up here. Kind of want the bathroom water to take precedence over this one. Hmm. What about our other electrolyzer set up down here? That's not even set up anymore. Well, we could send it there. It's dead. I think that's what I'll do, actually. Oh, what a tangle web I have weaved. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this here a little bit. <laughs> okay. Before I run out of time here. Okay, we're gonna take this over here. Send this up here. So that'll always be hot water supplied into that system. And then the excess bathroom water I will send down to that other electrolyzer. A one hour episode or more on just a bathroom. <laughs> that wasn't my plan. Okay, we need another pipe for that. So, do a insulate a pipe here. So, this will. <laughs> this little uh, bridge over, this one will go straight through. So excess bathroom water will come down here, go to this electrolyzer. And the hot water from our geyser will go up here into here, into these electrolyzers. And we'll empty that pipe. What I would really do, like I said in the beginning though, it's just personal preference, but we got a lot of water building up here. Don't want them getting their feet wet. What I would do is move all power generation out of the base. Over into a nice hot area. And I would move all oxygen generation to the uh, nullifiers. But since this is already embedded here, and it is cool, it's probably a, a kind of a wasted effort. And the only really reason the only reason he, I think he needed water was for oxygen generation maybe. I'm not really sure. He wanted cold water for something. Okay, that's backing up and that once this is done flow in there. That's good. I want to insulate the rest of that pipe unless the build order is already there, which it is. That's all priority five, but that's no good. Can they get in there? Yep. Can they get in here? Yep. And we hope that this never backs up all the way or the bathrooms are going to stop working. But I don't think it will. I think it'll... It'll work. Now our oxygen generation might go down because there might not be enough overflow from the bathrooms to keep this going. But since we do have the bathrooms going now, let's save them from wasting all their time emptying these sinks, emptying these washrooms. Is there any other outhouses out there? Yeah, there's one up here. There's bathrooms everywhere. Bathrooms everywhere. I think there's one down here too. Oh yeah, look at all these bathrooms. It's like a resort. Every single one of these is time wasted. Dupes wasting their time. Looks like he was getting ready to do oil petroleum setup. Oh yeah, I was going to make a point about this. So he's got his oil refinery here. 
and he's just got regular uh, slow manual airlocks. So the natural gas is going to build up in here, and it's going to end up out here, and it's going to en might end up out here, and it just will get into everything. So he should use a liquid lock going into the room for his oil refinery. So if I send him this updated save file, um, I don't know if he'll use it, but yeah, I would make sure that this is a liquid lock. There's lots of guides out there to make a li how to make a liquid lock. That way you'll be sure that the natural natural gas won't get out. Okay, so up here, let's just check that's all working now. I have to remove this pipe right here underneath and then it should all flow. That's flowing. Okay. Now we got to rebuild it because it's disconnected. There we go. This can come out. There we go. Excess water now going to this electrolyzer. Yay! Now that'll be food poisoning in the water, but food poisoning in the water has no bad effects. It doesn't hurt the dupes. They don't breathe it in. Food poisoning only matters if you eat it. So that's actually backing up already. Look at that. Hmm. This isn't processing fast enough. We could use another pump in here. So I'm actually going to go in here and... This is going to make his base look kind of janky, but... If we just extend this out a little bit, we can put a second pump and this thing will be way more efficient. The electrolyzer won't be stuck at max gas pressure as much. So that way we can fit another gas pump in there. Right here, I guess. And that's going to have to tie into that input of the filter. So I might have to redirect this hydrogen line here. Um, I'll do that. Actually, yeah, we'll just do a bridge here. That'll work just fine. Gas bridge. We'll hop over this way. I guess he's filtering oxygen out, or is that hydrogen? Hydrogen, and that's going up to his hydrogen generators and stuff. Yeah, perfect. His power line is close to overloaded, but we're gonna overload it anyway, which I said you should never do. Probably take something else off this power network. Oh, the exosuits. I would probably just get rid of these. And build a tunnel, like I said, along here instead. That way they can get over here with using these exosuits. Could probably start that as a low priority dig. Get all that algae out of there as well. Make it four high. Low priority. And then... pop out the other side there. Then that saves you building a whole other exosuit dock area. And it'll save some power. That's I would reclaim this wire, but I'll just leave it for now. Okay. I think that's looking better. We've got no excess water going here now. Uh, let's set up the piping here. So that's going to go into that input part. Now there's not enough water coming in here anymore. So we might want to do something like, uh, if this pipe is empty, grab some water from here. Use a shutoff valve or something. Make sure oxygen's still good in the base. Yeah, we got hydrogen stuck in these little pockets. 
I noticed he used a power control station. I tend to never use these, but... And I see he's out of copper. Did we ever get our... The ranching training is... Taking forever. What are these dupes doing? Are they on break? <laughs> yep. We could probably get away with... Less bath time. Let's do another work break. Sorry, another work block. Get them, get them a little bit more efficient. I think they're getting a little, they're getting off a little bit easy here. Oh, I moved the fridges, but I never took them out, so we're just wasting power here. So that was a lot of, a uh, lot of. Not a whole lot happened there, but we're using the hot water now. And it's 80 degrees in this pipe, so it's going to get warm along here over time. But it's insulated, so it won't leak too much heat. And now we have all our oxygen being made from hot water instead of uh, trying to cool it down, because there's no real need to cool it down. I would probably just drain this tank completely, reclaim this uh, ice biome. There is unfortunately a little bit of polluted water in here. That's actually, actually already set up to go, so I would maybe just get rid of this automation in here. Deconstruct that. Thermal pipe sensor. I don't have to actually get rid of it. I can just say if the temperature below 99. <laughs> Pump. Now there is some nasty polluted water in there. Actually quite a bit of it. Um, let me turn that back off. We'd want to do a filter because we got a little bit of polluted water in here. Because if that gets through, it's going to break a whole bunch of stuff. Or we could just try to empty the pipes. Yeah, let's do that. Empty pipe for 89. There. This may work. It probably won't. The source is right here. Let's make sure no more else gets in there. And this one tile... <laughs> one tile of polluted water. I might just move the pump up. I think he used to be able to mop out little tiny bits of water like this, but maybe not anymore. Let's try it. Don't think it works anymore. No, too much liquid. Unfortunately, it's just sitting in our water tank. Let's get rid of uh, the rest of this. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Don't, don't need that. Get rid of that vent. Okay, uh, I wanted to do more in this video, but I think that's gonna be it. I wouldn't change, this base is pretty good. I wouldn't change a whole lot. And he wanted to know how to cool water. And instead of cooling water, I mean, you can destroy heat by using the sieve, the carbon skimmer. And instead of carbon skimming the carbon dioxide, I would probably just send it down to the sixters at the bottom. Crack open here, and then pump your CO2. Actually, let's just do that right now. Uh, there's no reason not to. Ugh. 
Make a igneous rock ladder here. Dig this diamond out. That should free him. Make sure there's no molten hot abyss light in here. And probably free this guy as well. They'll start consuming that CO2. And maybe that guy too, depending. Oh, look at that sour gas. Okay, we got a problem down here. Yeah, look at this. This abyssalite, it's 1500 degrees. And even though the abyssalite has a thermal conductivity of zero, it's not quite true. Uh, the way they redid abyssalite in the last update is that it actually leaks its heat. So this whole area is like heating up. So you would want to go in and probably put insulating tile over top of this, but I wouldn't even go in there because look at all this sour gas. 545 grams of sour gas in one tile. If you dig this open, it's just going to explode everywhere. So what I would probably do is just pump the oil out of here and insulate off this area and just cordon it off and just pretend it never existed. Because otherwise you're going to have to delicately go in here and insulate this off. This is kind of a bug, I think. The way these super hot abyss light tiles are leaking into the whole bottom biome. So that CO2 should just naturally fall down, but we'd probably want to pump it down as well. That's going to save us from having to skim, skim it all. So instead of skimming it here, we could put a pump here. And if we detect CO2, then pump it down to the bottom. It's going to be a long pipe to get down there, but this is working perfectly fine. It is going to back up though at some point. I'm not doing anything with the polluted water yet. <laughs> So I would probably want to send it to the sieve or dump it in a tank and deal with it later. But yeah, I didn't get nearly enough done that I wanted to. But at least we got a good bathroom going and we got rid of the crappy bathrooms. And we're using hot water for like oxygen, like I've already said. I don't want to, I'm, I'm not going to do multi-part fix my base series, so the next one will be a whole new base, but hopefully that helped a little bit. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.